meter point load, 1.5 meter carrying point load as shown in figure. First of all, we need to some assumption for that. If it is force, it is going upward direction, it will be take positive. If force, it is going downward direction, it will be take negative value. Okay. If it is upward direction, it will be take positive value. If it is force, it is going downward direction, it will be take negative value. Okay. Negative value. Okay. If it is movement, it is clockwise direction, it will be take negative value for the right side. If it is movement, it is right clockwise direction, it will be take negative, sorry, positive, positive, it will be negative. If it is force, it, if, if it is movement, it will be anti-clockwise direction, so it will be take positive value. So this condition it is for when the load it is in right side, okay, right side. Right side, okay. Right side means if you suppose if you want to uh, calculate uh, moment at C, so if you want to take right side of this C, it will be take this this assumption. If it is load, it is left side of C, then we will take vice versa of this. Okay. So actually, in, in calculator beam, it will be required right side assumption. Okay. That is means anti anti uh, clockwise it will be minus and anti clockwise it will be plus. Okay. First of all, apply the equilibrium equation for calculating the reaction. So at A it will be fixed, then at B it will be free. If it is A at fixer, then there will be one reaction at there will be one reaction at A. Okay. So this one it is RA reaction, it will be acted at A. Then summation of apply first equilibrium equation that is summation of y is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the vertical forces is equal to zero. Summation f y is equal to zero. So first R A is going in upward direction. This one it is R A. R A is going upward direction. So R A. Then so that at C it will be two kilonewton load. It is going downward direction. So minus two. And then at B it will be going at B load. It is going downward direction. That is minus one point five is equal to zero. It will get R A. R A is equal to it will be R A is equal to three point five kilonewton. Three point five kilonewton. Okay. So write down R A is equal to 3.5 kilonewton. 3.5 kilonewton. 3.5 kilonewton. Okay. 3.5 kilonewton. So now do the SF calculation for that. The SF calculation. This one it is reaction to be calculated. Now SF calculate. Step number two it will be do SF calculation. SF calculation. SF calculation. Okay. It will start from B to A. Okay. So SF at right of A. SF at right of right of sorry B SF at right of B it will be there is no any force in right side that's why it will be zero. Then SF at B SF at B that is SF at B to be going downward direction force that is minus one point five kilo minus one point five kilo Okay. Then SF at SF at right of C SF at right of C right of C. SF at right of C will be also minus 1.5 kilo newton. Minus 1.5 kilo newton. Okay. Then SF at C. Then SF at C. SF at C. SF at C. So this one it is minus 1.5. Then minus 2. Minus 2. So it will be minus 3.5 kilo newton. Minus 3.5 kilo newton. And SF at right of A. SF at right of A. SF at right of SF at right of A, it will be also minus 3.5 kilo. Minus 3.5 kilo. Okay. Minus 3.5. Then SF at A. SF at A is equal to minus 3.5 kilo. Then plus this R8 is going upward direction. That why plus is equal to 0. Okay. So this one it is SF calculation. So now draw the B, SFD with the help of SF calculation. First, so first of all, draw the reference line for that. This one it is at A reference line. At A. At C. And at B. Okay. At B. So draw the neutral axis for that. So this one it is neutral axis. So first of all, SF at left right of B to the zero. 
it will start from zero. So this B point it is here. Here it is B point. Okay, here it is B point. Okay, here it is B point. Here it is B. Point. So first of all, SFX right top B will be zero. So this one this is zero. Then SF at B will be minus 1.5 kilo, minus 1.5 kilo. Then SF at right of C will be also minus 1.5 kilo, minus 1.5 kilo. Then SF at C will be minus 3.5, minus 1.5, then minus 2 will be minus 3.5 kilo. Then SF at right of C will be also minus 3.5 kilo, so minus 3. SF at right of A will be minus 3.5 kilo. Then SF at A minus 3.5, then Plus 3.5 will be get zero. Okay, will be get zero. So this one it is 3.5 kilonewton, 3.5 kilonewton, and this one it is 2 kilonewton, 2 kilonewton, and this one it is minus 1.5 kilonewton. That is 1.5. Okay, so it is downward direction. Below the neutral axis means it is minus. Okay. So now just has the line. This one is SFD diagram in kilonewton. Is in kilonewton. SFD in kilonewton. This one is SFD in kilonewton. Shear force diagram in kilonewton. In kilonewton. Now do the BM calculation. BM calculation. Step number three. BM calculation. BM calculation. So it is one point five. Next, it will be BM calculation. BM calculation. BM calculation. BM calculation. So first of all, BM at B it will be zero. BM at B is equal to zero. BM at B is equal to zero. BM at B is equal to zero. Then BM at C. BM at C. BM at C is equal to. BM at C, so we'll take from the right side. So BM at C, in right side there is only one force that is minus one point, sorry one point five kilonewton. How it is rotating about the point C? It will be in which direction? So it will be clockwise direction. So clockwise we are in right side. If it is force, C T uh, B it is right side of C. So that's why it will be minus minus minus. Minus one point five, minus one point five into point five, minus one point five into point five. So minus one point five into point five will be one point five into point five will be point seven five kilonewton meter. Minus point seven five kilonewton meter. Okay. Then next BM at BM at A, BM at A. So BM at A. So first it is this minus. Minus one point five, one point five. This distance it is one point five, one point five. Then next it is minus two into minus two into one, minus two into one. Okay, till we get how much? Okay, so both the force about the it will be rotating in clockwise direction. Okay, in right side it is clockwise. It will be take, it will be take negative. Okay, but it will be get. 4.25 kilonewton meter. 4. minus 4.25 kilonewton meter. So this one it is BM calculation. Okay. So why we are taking it is minus. Once again, I will explain this one. So about point B. So B to us uh, about point A. This C it is rotating. How it is clockwise direction. See here. This unit is rotating. Clockwise direction. So clockwise we are taken it is here negative value. Clockwise if you rotate it, it is clockwise. This C it is right of A. Okay, C point it is right of A. That's why it will be taken negative value. Okay, so first then draw the BM diagram with the help of BM calculation. Okay, so first of all draw the reference line for that reference line. This point is at A. Then reference at C and reference at B. Okay. 
the neutral axis this plate is neutral axis first of all bm at b will be 0 and bm at c will be 0.75 kilonewton 0.75 kilonewton then bm at a will be minus 4.25 so minus indicates it will be we are drawn the below the neutral axis okay below the neutral axis so this point is 4.25 4.25 kilo newton meter and this one it is 0 0.75 0 0.75 kilo newton. so this one it is bmd in kilo newton meter bmd in kilo bmd in kilo newton meter bmd in kilo newton so just has the line this one bmd in kilo newton meter so this one it is neg negative due to cantilever action it is a hugging type of bend off hugging type of Bend offer that's why it will be written negative way. Okay, then one end it is free, free, and other end it is free, so it will be called cantilever reaction. So, due to cantilever reaction, so bend it will be offer hogging type of bend. Here, this book it will be one end it is fixed, I have one end it will be fixed. Then you apply at end there is a load, so it will be bent hogging type. So, this bend we called it is hogging bend. Okay, this bend we called it is hogging type bend. So, that's why it will be. Negative value. Okay. So when bend it is hogging, it will be a negative value. Okay. So this one it is SFD and BMD diagram for 